Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar headed south in the early European session on Tuesday. However, the market sharply reverted after a bullish ambush from the key support level, which is seen at 69.90. And from there, the market has recovered relatively well and stays to rally by about 60 points. In light of the pattern, I'm not going to abandon another down test. I feel the technicals are still holding quite heavy. So therefore, we could see a retreat from anywhere from 70.70 with a cap at 71.15 and then look back towards 69.90 and reassess. A break there would give further weakness to the Australian dollar and look back towards 68.5. But as we can see, this level should be treated rather cautiously in case we see another rebound. Well, all eyes on the US Fed when they reached their decision on Wednesday with an expected 25 base point increase. The federal funds rate currently stands at between four a quarter to four and a half percent, following a 50 base point rate hike back in December of 2022. Also this week, eyes will be on the ECB with a 50 base point rate hike. So no doubt we will see further whipsaw price action as the market currently remains capped from the level of 109.4560. And while it continues to contain the bulls, we may see another down test anywhere towards 108.10, where the market did snap up uh, the opportunity to see a rebound. But if it fails there, then we may see another move to 107.45 to 65. That was seen back in early January. Dolly Yen still coasting sideways, although there was a little bit of momentum and a bit of bullish excitement on Tuesday, but the failing to sustain its gains. Looking at this RSI, it's a little bit concerning that we can still see another down test. So therefore, I expect to see the range to be in a moderately uh, tight, that is, range of 129.75 to 130.80 and reassess on the top side as if the market can gain, and a break of 130.80.90 looks towards 131.70.90. But with the lacklustre technicals, it does give a little bit of concern that the market may actually see a pullback. Let's see how the market uh, views the Fed, and if the dollar can sustain its gains after the overnight, the market did retreat from 102.40 area down to 101.80 to the dollar index, that is. Sterling remains weak and still looks towards the level of 122.90, even though we did see a strong rebound from there. The technicals are still heavy, so this is the view that I keep that the market will probably weigh on the support and see what happens around that 122.90, because if it doesn't hold this time, then we're looking down towards 122.30.35. All eyes on Thursday to the Bank of England when they're expected to raise rates by 50 base points. So no doubt that will cause a bit more of a stir in the market too. Looking at gold, the market took a very much heavy fall on Tuesday, but found strong support from 1,900 and rallied back to 25 points. If we note the technicals are still quite heavy, I feel that the market may fail towards the level of 1,936 to 38 and see another down test back towards this bottom side of the range and see how the market will play into the European session today and see if the balls are still as willing to defend this region. Wrapping up with all, the market stepped in in front of the key level of 75.70.90 after inking in an intraday low of 76.66. The support level here, that no doubt, will continue to show demand or a bullish uh, response if challenged. But I feel that with the heavy technicals, we might see any upside test fail. That is towards the region of 79.5 to $80 a barrel. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the Inch Day Report. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.